One of Johnson Center's lower galleries is currently showing the work of Troy artist Belinda Harrison. Harrison splits her time between being an artist and a mother, and it was that combination that encouraged the center to display her work. We consider her a find. Uh, she, uh, our director, Vicky, Vicky Pritchett, got news of a uh, talented uh, young artist in Troy, uh, and we have we constantly look for artists in this area. So when we found out uh, more about her, then uh, we called and made an appointment to come over to her home and see her. And she uh, took us to her art studio, and her art studio was one corner of her kitchen. And uh, with three kids running around, she's painting in a corner of her kitchen. And we see that as dedication. And the Johnson Center wanted to reward Harrison for that dedication by allowing her to display her work in a space that would bring more attention to her work. It turns out Belinda had been really inspired by uh, Pam Smith during her years at Charles Henderson High School. And then she uh, studied two years in the art in, uh, at Troy University. And, and then had to leave school because of the birth of her child. So uh, she is, when we talked to her, and we saw her dedication, and we realized this as an opportunity to help a young artist in Pike County, which is actually what this Cultural Arts Center is about. Visitors will see a few familiar faces among her works, along with a few more abstract subjects. Well, the title of her exhibit is Varieties, and I think that's a good title because she's, she does a variety of subject matter. She's got a lot of, a, uh, excuse me, uh, abstracts. Uh, she's got some, uh, these very uh, detailed paintings over here of Marilyn Monroe and uh, Dorothy Dandridge, and then the piece in the middle. In the, if you look at the piece in between those two portraits, she is, it's of her hand, it's a design, but uh, when we asked her what it was of, she said, I just hold my hand up and got that design going and I painted from just using my hand as subject matter. Kawana Clark, Troy, Trojan Vision News.